Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, Raptor X here with Good Clean Gaming RX and today we are back in the Eco 9.0 beta playtest. Um, so today I'm going to be working on uh, finishing the move from my forest base over to uh, a base in the desert. Um, and I'm going to be uh, seeing about... Um, there we go, yep. Uh, seeing about getting all of my uh, my tools and benches and everything ready for going over there and then uh, showing off um, the uh, the new rock drill functionality and uh, the basics of uh, mining and ore processing in beta 9.0 um, so jump back to my house quickly here and then uh, We'll see about getting all of that stuff together. So, I was able to. Uh, that one must be sleeping. Interesting. Um, I was able to um, get a get a load of uh, the hewn logs over there, and uh, got myself a little house established. Um, but I'm going to be uh, taking over, like I said, the other the other houses and stuff that I need to. Uh, not other houses, sorry, the other other workbenches and stuff that I need to be able to work on stuff over there as well. So, um, let me go ahead and, actually we should be good leaving this one here. Yes, yes, hello you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and we need to create a workbench. And let's see here, what else did I need over there? A windmill, I think. So I'm going to go ahead, ooh, what are you guys doing in my house? <laughs> okay, so let's see here, um, I need a wind, yes, I need a windmill still, or a water wheel, so I'm going to go ahead and order one of those. I'm going to do the work for it, and we also need five boards, so I'm going to go ahead and come over here and create those. There we go, and we'll do the work for it. Perfect. Alright, um, go ahead and we'll take a workshop there. And let's see here. We can't take those with us. And we're probably too full for taking that. Okay. So we'll just leave that one here then. Can I stack these? I believe I can. Yes, good. Alright. Um, so this is one of the new items, the rocker box. Um, and this is, uh, this is capable of uh, separating out iron and um, I'm not sure if you can nice uh, upgrade uh, let's see here okay so it will concentrate uh, gold iron and sand as well um, so that's something I'll also be showing off here um, let's see we're probably also going to need a stockpile and those might be a little bit easier to make over here. So let's, uh, whoop, there we go. A little bit of a problem loading there. Let's go ahead and create one of those. And we'll do the work there. Perfect. That is going to take two minutes. So that'll give us time to make sure we've got everything else tidied up over here. I'm going to make sure that I've got a road. Good. I've got a stone road tool. Um, let's go ahead and make a tool bench. And let's do the work on that one as well. And then go ahead and get the rocks for that one. There we go. And I may, uh, I may come back to this house at some point. Because... Um, I've still got a decent amount 
um, that can be done over here, especially uh, especially the looking for gold. Um, we're currently several feet or several several meters um, away from the gold layer. Um, but let me see here. I've got my rock drill on hand. So I'm just going to demonstrate how this one works. Um, you basically mouse over your uh, where you're going to be aiming, and then you uh, you hold down your left mouse button, and it will prospect. And you can see over in the left hand side here um, what exactly we're hitting, and it's just 15 blocks of shale there. Um, I'm going to see if it'll do anything different this way. Just shale there as well. So now, if we go this way though, you can also go horizontal, as you can see. And it looks like we're so far down that we're still just hitting shale there. Um, so there's really not a whole lot to show off. However, if we go... Oh! Wrong turn there. There we go. Um, let's see here. Say we go this direction. We'll hit clay, 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 clay. <laughs> Shale. There we go, so there's a, there's uh, 14 blocks of clay that way, and then shale at the end of that one. Um, so it basically allows you to see um, what uh, what you're looking at in the stack of, uh, the stack or row of blocks underneath you. Um, so this is definitely a useful thing when you start um, start uh, looking for iron or the other metals or something instead of having to dig the giant uh, pilot holes um, you can now do all of that uh, with just the hang on what's going on here there we go perfect uh, you can now do all of that with the rock drill and so don't have to worry about uh, digging all of that out. Okay, uh, let's see here. We probably don't need the palm, uh, palm seeds, so we'll take those out. And we probably don't need the pineapple either. So I'm going to take those out as well. Um, something else here that I think I could probably do is let's just go ahead and oh, what are we, what's making so much weight in there uh, that's probably part of it okay let's go ahead and get our uh, our cart and we'll be able to there we go we'll take this one and then we can just take all of our ingredients and tables and everything in there so um, go ahead and set this one up let's see here Sounds like David's woken up. Come on, there we go. Go ahead and place that one. And then let's see here. We're going to go ahead and take our stockpile and then our crafting station. I'm going to take an extra, um, an extra stone road tool. Let's see here. We don't have the workshop, so let's go ahead and grab that as well. This one then. The rocker boxes and the food. Perfect. Um, let's go ahead. We've got those two. Let's go ahead and drop those into there as well because I know I can use those and we'll sell them on the way through. Okay. Um, what are we waiting for up here? Anything. Oh, the water wheel. Okay. 
another two minutes and change there, but I know I can purchase one of those from uh, from another individual. So let me go ahead and we'll do that. All right, take this over there. One second. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, head over to the uh, to the other house then. And I'll kind of show you the way over there as I go over some of the changes to uh, to ore and ore processing. So the uh, the biggest change to ore really for uh, 9.0 is the fact that the ore generation is different. Um, so it used to be that um, ores were just kind of scattered randomly um, throughout uh, a biome and it was just kind of a depth based thing and so there'd just be um, just be kind of a, a large region like for gold where it'd be uh, like somewhere between uh, I think it was 40 and 70 blocks below the surface and you just kind of mine down around there and then hoped you hit it um, the iron was kind of, you just went down uh, somewhere between 10 and 30 blocks below the surface and you just mined around and hope you hit it. Um, same with the copper, that was uh, that was in the iron region, or the, uh, the mountainous cold regions and that was more like a 30 to 40, 30 to 50 blocks below the surface and you just went down there and hoped you found it. Um, all of that has changed. So we've now got, uh, now got the ores, uh, there's a little bit more rhyme or reason to their generation. So the iron is now generating in more like um, veins instead of just randomly splotched throughout the landscape. Um, and so that means that uh, they have increased the concentration in, in a certain area, but they have decreased the um, decrease the amount scattered all over the place so it's it's more concentrated in large ore veins now instead of just randomly all throughout the uh, all throughout the landscape and so there's a little bit more hunting for it but once you found it there's a lot that can be uh, a lot that can be done with it so all right so we are over to my other house um, this is a uh, this is just a, a basic basic wood house and I don't have a door on here quite yet so that's going to mean that we're going to have to put one of those up and build one of those first so let's go ahead and take these out of here um, we'll take that rocker box as well we've got some hewn logs so we can just to make a hewn log door here um, we're going to go ahead and because this is an outside bench we can just put this right here against the corner of the house uh, we'll just place that right there, perfect. And let's see here, hewn log door. We'll go ahead and order one of those and tell it, yep, you can go ahead and access that wood cart there. And it'll go ahead and make us one of those hewn log doors. We'll go ahead and add the work as well. Um, that's going to be two minutes for that one. Um, masonry table, mortared stone, we really don't have any reason for those. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's see, we'll go ahead and get this so we can see. Okay, so this is all the land that I've staked out for myself here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the rocker box and put that down. And I think I'll just stick this one right there. Okay, and this can be used for concentrating um, gold copper or iron um, and so you get uh, you get wet tailings okay and this can be used now to reduce the cost um, that it is actually generated from this you're still getting um, still getting the one iron concentrate and two wet tailings and it's not really doing anything to uh, not really doing anything to reduce the negative byproducts um, but it is definitely reducing the uh, the cost of these 
So, okay, we've got those set up. Um, this is uh, this is where you crush um, the the ore. So you get uh, you can do the crushed crushed iron ore. Um, which will get you two crushed iron ore and one crushed sandstone from 12 of the iron ore. I'm going to go ahead and put another module into here. And this is just going to be the basic upgrade 3. That will reduce uh, resource cost by 40%. Actually, no it won't either. Um, well, resource cost for the table, it should. Perhaps it's not working because we don't actually have the uh, don't have the windmill on there yet. Um, so we'll see if we can get one of those here momentarily. Um, and that one's not a room quite yet, so we can't make that. Okay, let's go ahead and see if that door is completed. It sounds like it has. Very good. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take that and put that into place there we go and now we should have a room in here perfect okay so uh, let's go ahead and um, we need to see about getting a water wheel here quickly um, or a uh, yeah water wheel or windmill so I'm going to go ahead and um, see where there's one of those close at hand water wheel there we go and submit that and see. Uh, yeah, there's really not any of them close. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and. Hmm, I think those are actually made at a carpentry table, so I don't think we're going to be able to make those quite quickly. Wooden wheel. Let's check over here and see if that's where those are made. Yes, those are made at the carpentry table. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get one of those made then. Um, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll add the work, and then we'll have to see about chopping down a couple trees here. Um, we'll also need to eat. There we go, perfect. Um, and we'll go ahead and chop down the cactus here. into there. Alright, now let's go ahead and get our rock drill here and we'll see if we can start prospecting and see if we can find anything here. So we're just going to go ahead and drill down here. Dirt, sandstone, no iron there. Okay, let's move over a little bit. Dirt, sand, sandstone, no iron there. Sand, sandstone, no iron there. Dirt, sand, sandstone, nothing there either. <laughs> so we may have to dig down a little ways before we actually start getting anything useful. Let's go ahead and prospect this way. Sandstone, lots of dirt. Yep, nothing there either. Maybe? No. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and look this way. Nope, nothing there either. Okay, so we're going to have to uh, dig down a little bit, I think, here then. Um, dirt, sandstone, sand, dirt, okay. So we're going to have to dig down a little bit here. And um, let's go with a number four here. Um, and we'll see if we can... Uh, dig down a little ways here. And 
and uh, see if we can find an iron ore vein um, once we've gotten down a little distance. So this will allow us to, you know, once we once we get down a little ways, it'll allow us to go a little bit farther. All right, I'm going to go ahead and we'll set up an order here for the crushed sandstone. I'm going to set up 20 of them, and we're going to go ahead and do the work. There we go. Perfect. And we're not going to be able to do it quite yet. Um, we'll go ahead and add this, and I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit more rock here, um, so that we can set up and make our, our water wheel, which... <laughs> really should have brought my one from the other one and just been a little bit more patient. Um, as you can see I'm going down two, uh, two blocks here with each, of my, uh, with each of my steps and that's just because we're capable of climbing up two steps so it's uh, just a little bit more of a steeper way down and we can get down to the, uh, the usable layer a little bit faster. go ahead and put those into there, these into there, and let's go ahead and put down, let's go ahead and put down our stockpile there. No, nope, can't place it there. Okay, up. If we could get up there, <laughs> we could put it up on the roof. Perfect. We'll just do that. And we'll go ahead and claim these quickly. So that that one just belongs to us, and that's used up all of my of my claim papers. Okay, let's check and see how this is going. Should have the carpentry table finished, very good. Um, we'll go ahead and take that one out and put this inside. Ah, oh, it's backwards, oh well. Uh, and we'll go ahead and create a water wheel work order. Um, we can go ahead and plug in one of our upgrades, so we'll go ahead and let's see here, we can grab the one from the rocker box, we're not using that currently. We'll go ahead and take this out. Come on. And that'll help to reduce the, uh, the cost and the time. There we go, 45. And we'll go ahead, perfect. Um, we'll go ahead and tell it, yes, you can have access to those and to that if you need it. And we'll do the work on there. And then we need to go ahead and go back out to here and create some boards. And we need five of those, so we'll go ahead and create that and do the work on those. Okay, so uh, while those are processing, we'll go ahead and uh, do a little bit more mining here. Um, and hopefully get down to a level where we can find just a little bit of uh, iron ore so that we can kind of show that off. Interesting. Where are we at? Okay. Go ahead and put those into there. Perfect. Okay. And we'll go 
go ahead and keep working this way a little bit. And this way when I get it uh, get it all mined out, it'll be pretty much right under our house. Okay, so we're down quite a little ways here. I think this is about 10 blocks below the surface. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out my rock drill again. And I'm going to go ahead and prospect, prospect here. Iron ore, perfect. Okay, so five blocks down, we've got iron ore under here. So let's go ahead and we'll uh, go ahead and pick these up. And we'll go ahead and start mining down here. two blocks. Go all the way down here, very good. And there we go, we've hit iron ore. So I'm going to go ahead and start mining this out of here. There we go. And there's there's where we start hitting that. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll take these up to the surface. And then we can start mining the iron ore out. There we go. We'll have to take a little bit of food. There we go. Um, and those are still producing that, so let's check on our progress for that. Uh, we've still got six minutes, so we're not going to be able to show that one off quite yet. Um, but we'll go ahead and uh, get the iron ore out of here. And as you can see, this is already part of my land. So I can go ahead and start mining away without worrying about somebody else coming and <laughs> taking all of the goodies. Okay, and so now that we've hit it too, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my rock drill and we'll basically show off how far this goes. So we've got iron ore. Yeah, so we've got 13 blocks that way of iron ore. Uh, we've got, let's see here, sandstone. So this is kind of, we've hit the edge of it right here. So nothing that way. How about this way? Iron ore, sandstone. Okay, so it's really, <laughs> we really came down right on the good edge of it there. How about this way? Sandstone. No, nothing there. Nice. Okay. Oh, come on, you. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start mining this out. But as you can see, there is a lot of iron ore down here. I mean, 15 blocks that way. We've got... Uh, we'll go ahead and mine this one as well. 13 blocks that way. Yep, we've got another 11 blocks here, so we're going quite a decent ways uh, that way as well. <laughs> Let's see how we go here. Iron ore. So, a little bit of a thin vein, but uh, quite a long... Oh, and there's more that way. Very nice. So, we've got several iron ore veins over here that we'll be able to tap um, and get... Uh, and get all that all that iron ore out of here and then we'll have to see about uh, how we can make the most out of it so I'm going to go ahead and we'll just put that one into there 
and that one's going to be the end of today's video. Uh, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Ta-ta.